Hey everyone, Two Fairy Rock in here. How's it going? So, I was watching a video on Miller's video about truth about unsearched pay dirt and unsearched cons. If you don't know what pay dirt is, it means someone put together some a bag of pay dirt, put some gold in it, and went through it and selling it for a profit, which is true. Anyone can do it if you know how to do it right. So. He's right. If it says unsearched uh, pay dirt, that means they have gone. They're just doing that to get people to buy it. It's called marketing. Sad, sadly, but true. They go. The people that said that sells it, like on eBay or Amazon, um, they're selling it to people that have no clue about what that means. Unsearched cons or unsearched Peter he made a good point Miller prospecting is a really cool guy he knows his Peter stuff because he's got a lot and he does uh, a lot of things if you want to see um, what the video I'm talking about it's, it'll be down in the description down below Miller prospecting is a very respectful guy he's really cool I like watching his videos very helpful videos too but he had this one video that just recently came out called The Truth About Unsearched Peter. And he's right. And what's funny is I was just talking about this with a friend of mine while I was out. He goes, what's the difference between unsearched and search Peter? And I told him that's the truth. Unsearched, there's no such thing as unsearched Peter. Everyone that sells pay dirt, no offense to anyone that, that does this for a living, no offense at all, it's targeting people to buy their bags. And, yeah. If you're buying pay dirt, make sure you know the person that you're buying from. I mean, like, this is called pay dirt. It's got the dirt in it. They put certain stuff in it this is Peter and you see where the dirt is and all that that's Peter you, reason why they sell it so people like that are new that can buy it and practice instead of going out in the creek in the rivers they go out and pan it so they feel like they're finding gold they know what they look for so the thing is about gold or pay dirt is it's a good way to practice if you've been out of the game like I have for two years I've been really busy it's why I haven't been posting much it's a good way to get back into it I went out um, last Saturday I went to only Creek found some nice flower gold it was okay found some nice rocks I wish I kind of filmed it but I wasn't in the mood to film because I was tired I kind of wish because I ran into two rock hounds, which was really cool. I helped them out finding these neat rocks that they had no idea about. And I'm glad they did because it was neat. Only Creek is in over in Sultan area. It's really neat. I found some interesting I found an interesting spot that showed promising, but something was off about it. I'm not sure what. But again, Unsearch Peter. If it says unsearched pay dirt and not the quality of the gold in it, it's a hit and miss. That's the thing about pay dirt. It's a hit and miss. I get my pay dirt from people that I know. That what they put in is what they know. Some will add, add it to it. No offense again. It's called salting your pay dirt. I've been doing gold prospecting for many years and I wish I didn't stop but I got really busy for two years I took sad thing is I took a year off from YouTube and I got busy yeah I'm a vendor as well I know how to sell stuff but yeah so if you see a bag that says unsearch pay dirt it's basically cons with gold in it that they added sometimes they'll 
add a little bit here just to make sure there's gold in their bags. Like I said, no offense for those who do it for a living. But people that are new to buying pay dirt, like my friend, he bought bags from different people to see what the difference is. It all depends on where you get from, who you get from, and where. Oh, wait, no, I already said that. And what that gold came from as well. So, I had to get my two cents out of there. I was just talking, like I said, I was just talking about this to a friend of mine. So, which is kind of funny that Miller came out with a video and I thought, you know, I want to test my mic out in a different position. Usually it's right here and I like to have my, I don't have my sign up right now. I'm charging it. If you want to know what the sign is, it's a LED sign that has my name that I use when I'm a vendor. And coming soon, I know, coming soon, uh, April, to get it in there a little bit. I do have a video coming out soon for it. Um, April 13 and 14, I do have a vending show coming into Boston. I do have a video coming out soon, so stay tuned for that one. And if you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget, it's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. You keep being you, and don't forget to like, comment. I like to hear what you people think. Subscribe and share out there. Because sharing is caring.